Hi, I'm Nada. And I'm Shanae, and this week we're talking about a song you probably can't buy. And I'm sorry. <laughs> wondering why why am i watching this video if we can't buy this song we do it to you every every other video sorry <laughs> well you can buy this particular saw but you time is running out basically so we are talking about the ibuki hand saw so i have the one of the one of the ibukis that was made many many years ago very fast, aggressive cutting saw, but it's gone Re into surgery. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Had a big makeover. Extreme <laughs> makeover for Ibuki. Yes, <laughs> we're including and looks works. and everything and how it works. Nose, lips, the whole deal. <laughs> <laughs> well, they say it bites, it must have a face. Yes. <laughs> um, and we are talking about the so, yes. red scabbard Ibuki. So we have the black ibuki and the red ibuki, um, and in this case, I'm not sure if the red goes faster, but um, let's say it does because this is now the new and improved. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the old ibuki we still love and adore. Now, as much as these guys have the same name, they are quite different. So we thought we would one introduce the new ibuki, but yeah. also talk about what the difference is. So if you do go into a store and you do have the choice of both of them, you know which one you're going to pick. And if one you... mine's better. No, I'm yeah. <laughs> we had this little debate earlier. <laughs> <laughs> or you might be like so incredibly in love with the Ibuki like I am that you want to just Google search after this video and try and find yourself one of the very few last Ibukis because this is, I think, our last one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, our very last black So Ibuki. our website is? No. <laughs> yeah. My phone number only won't be on there. <laughs> only if you're in Australia. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to have to look for your silky dealer in your country. Um, but yeah, the, the black eye beaky, we're going to go through at six, and the red one as well. The old eye beaky has quite a different sort of um, reason for design, I guess, and use. So if you have the need to do dead wooding, or you need a really strong, robust saw, the old black cased ibuki is really a brilliant saw for you. Yes, the reason being is the old black ibuki has a mm. thicker kerf on the blade. Yeah. So that means you, it's like Anita was saying, it's great for dead wooding because mm. you can turn around and use it as a hammer to so just quickly whack that branch out of the tree. Mm. So that's one of the reasons why this is such a great dead wooding um, fast saw. So to sort of compare the black to the red, as Sinead was saying, the red has a thinner curve, so that's the, the thickness of the blade here. So the red one has a 1.7 curve, whereas the black one is... A 2.25 curve. Yeah, so quite a bit thicker, which yeah. gives it that extra strength. Mm. Mm, it does. And it also, weight-wise as well, yes. obviously with yep. the Ibuki, it has a thicker curve, which means it weighs um, a little bit more, so yeah. the um, Ibuki black, Scabbard one is 80, 83 uh, grams. 830 Eight, grams. 830, yes. Oh. <laughs> Whereas the new one is 735, so about 100 grams lighter, the new one. But that weight that the old Ibuki has aids with it to be able to hit dead wood out of a tree mm. and also aids with that extra strength that it has. So that if using it in a dead wooding situation or if you're really, really rough on your gear and you're cutting a lot of dead wood, that gives it a, a extra strength and, and it's a good thing it's an advantage yes yeah yeah and also uh the two style on it mm. has a four retsumi two yes. style which means it's a very aggressive um aggressive style of cut yeah so the four retsumi actually means you've got four rows of angled teeth yeah so four different angles of the teeth whereas the new one has the silky mitomi style so that's the wedge shaped tooth that's not a set tooth it's um it's just sort of ground to that shape mm -hmm. and that gives it a really super smooth easy cut so it feels really easy to use uh, it leaves a beautiful smooth cut on the tree so if you had bigger limbs to cut and you wanted an alternative to a chainsaw this new ibuki is ideal for that because it yeah. gives a really easy really smooth nice cut so good for the tree and good for the user if you don't want to fatigue too much yeah exactly mm. um another another 
spec about these two, they both have a 39 centimeter blade. Yes. So it's a longer blade. So the longer blade means also the larger the limb, you're yeah. faster the cut because you've got more teeth from running through that um, blade. That's right. But speaking of teeth as well, um, as Shanae said, the two saws have different styles of teeth, but also the old Ibuki has a smaller tooth than the yes. new one. The four retsumi tooth is a faster cutting tooth though. So it doesn't mean that the old yeah. one's going to be faster. It actually means they're about the same speed because the minami oh, yes. tooth is a bit slower. So by having a bigger tooth, it means you're kind of equaling the speed. So you're not necessarily getting an advantage going with the old one or the new one for speed. It's just they cut differently in different ways. Yes. So yeah. they feel different. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So the old Ibuki has um, 6.5 teeth per 3 centimetres yep. opposed to the new Ibuki, which has 5.5 teeth per three centimeters. Yes. So yeah, like you need to said, much of a muchness. Yeah, yeah. And both of them are sharpenable. So they haven't yes. put the treatment on the tips of the teeth. They are um, both left as they are, so you can sharpen them <laughs> should you need to. So that's going to be if you, you know, cut something that's really dirty or you end up cutting into the soil. They're the sort of things that will blunt in the teeth on the saw. Yes. Yeah. Or you don't put it in the scabbard and it whacks or the metal things. Mm. That also will do it. <laughs> <laughs> and with that in mind, don't forget, if you ever lose the scabbard or you lose any part of a silky saw, everything is available as a replacement part. So don't stress that, oh no, now I've got to buy a whole new saw again just to get a scabbard. You can buy just the case or you can buy just the screws. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Another benefit to these two saws is that this particular blade will be able to fit on your um, your black silky high archy pulse saw. Yes. So all you'll need to do is remove these two screws um, and pop it onto your high archy pulse saw. It's great for like a backup or yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Backup if you need another blade should something tragically happen to your yes. pulse saw blade. <laughs> <laughs> One of the other things I love about the Ibuki and both the old and the new have this is the style of handle. It's a yep. really thick, strong, big handle, which in my opinion, when you're cutting a bigger limb, I find it's more comfortable to have something quite sort of decent size to grab onto. If it's quite a skinny, narrow handle, I find that a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah. So these, I just find it's such a great area to grip onto. There's a lot of surface area and it's sort of rounded. So yeah. my hand sort of does it in an even way of, you know, how your fingers go around it. So yeah, I really like the handle and it's a bit different to some of the other silkies. So the Ibuki has that just robust feeling all the way around and with that thick handle to hold on to, in my opinion, makes it easier when you're cutting larger limbs. Yeah. The case for the new Ibuki is also um, in keeping with all the new technology that Silky have with their cases now. It has the double rollers, so you can put the saw in either direction, which is quite cool. So even though it's a curved blade, you can put that one in either side. So whether you're left-handed or right-handed, it doesn't matter. Um, it has the belt attachments or the leg attachments, so if you want to strap it to the leg, you've got the two points available there. Um, and you can also slide a belt through the top if you wish, or a carabiner on the top, so lots of points of attachment. And also they've got a nice big hole at the bottom, so for any wood chip or whatnot, they can easily just flow out of that. So when comparing that to the old one, it's pretty much the same case, but just in a black colour, so all those specs. Yep. But there is one special thing the old one has that the new one doesn't. Yes, it does. Um, it has a waist strap, so you yes. can wrap it. So it's a strap that wraps around your waist, so you can attach it to your hip. Or formerly known as a belt. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but no, not a big one. one. <laughs> so if you've been drinking a lot of beer, it might not fit you. <laughs> So that is pretty much the difference between your old Ibuki and the new Ibuki. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I love the old Ibuki. I think mm -hmm. it's just the best, and I do have one. Um, so if you do want a really strong, robust saw that's going to be brilliant for deadwooding, you want to go and find yourself one of the old one before they are gone forever. And if you're just after a really good quality, easy to use, red because they're brilliant <laughs> alternative to a chainsaw with just that beautiful grip then the new Ibuki is the way you want to go. Yes. Oh, yeah. I think that is all the specs. We are going to demonstrate these two saws um, in our showroom. Always start the cut at the handle. So this branch 
here is really quite small for an ibuki. You normally wouldn't be wanting to cut anything this size or smaller. But the, the trick is, if you're going to put a little bit of pressure, you can do it at the start, but when you get sort of to about this point, you need to release all pressure, otherwise it's going to vibrate like crazy. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and we love hearing from you. So leave us a comment and like the video. See you next time.